Greetings happy coders. Welcome to another video. It's been a little while since I've done an update. I have been super busy working on the Moonshine engine, which of course is my new game engine that I've been developing. I thought that was a pretty suitable name for it. And uh, just wanted to show you something today, which is uh, animation scripting. So this is Andy's original game. And uh, of course, it's a classic sort of HD game, perfectly fine as it is, but there are some things I think that could be improved. So if you just uh, if you just take a look at this, you've got these three bats and it's just the kind of classic um, patrolling enemy, you know, which uh, Andy will tell you I, I always moan about simply because they're just, they're nothing more than moving environment, you know, they're just... Um, they're just there to get in your way and they don't really have any character they just move up and down and kind of dull and not very engaging I would say so um, yeah let's um, we can switch over and have a look at what the new engine can do so let's just do that okay and here we go so if you just choose a choose any bat and um, Take a closer look at what's going on. You'll see there's a lot more animation frames and little things going on. So there are two things. First of all, this code um, allows sprites to be only 32 bytes instead of the usual 1 to 8 of AGD because it uses um, a lookup table to do the shifting. So that's the first thing. And then freeing up that means that we can add more frames of animation to the... Uh, to the bats. So they are still patrolling, but there's quite a few little things going on that I think make quite a big difference. So first of all, um, when they're flying up, you'll see there's a there's variable speed as they fly. So the wing actually pushes them up. That just gives them a little more, bit more feeling like they're actually alive. That's the thing that you want to do really, is you, you, you want them to feel like they're not just a moving piece of environment, that they're actually living. Okay, so maybe they're not actually moving or I mean, you know, they're not really reacting to the player, which is a whole other thing, which of course we can do that too, but this is just an early stage. Um, but when they flap, you know, it kind of climbs. Um, and then when they reach the top, there's a transition where it, they kind of roll. And then as they roll, they then fall slowly and then they swoop a bit faster. So you can see that happening. And then also, as they hit the bottom, they turn around and there's a slightly three-dimensional effect as the mouth kind of you kind of l lunge towards you so anyway yeah so that's kind of nice um, and all of this is is achieved using uh, an animation scripting system which is really fairly straightforward every sprite image is defined but rather than locking each image to a set of frames um, as it is in AGD the um, the uh, Moonshine engine uses a series of um, animation scripts, so each sprite can be assigned. There'll be a, there's a table of animation scripts, and any sprite can be assigned any of those scripts. And uh, so, you know, they don't take up a huge amount of memory. Of course, it's just a, a series of numbers. So, for example, for this one, we have about 20 or 25 in total. So, 24, 25 bytes is not a huge amount. Um, and as well as a, a sprite type, we also have a sprite subtype. So we have, you know, bat climbing, bat uh, turning, bat falling, bat sw you know swooping, whatever. So each in each of those, the script will be slightly different. The animation script can be changed, and um, therefore we can give the bats a much more kind of. Uh, well, a bit less digital and a little bit more analog feel, as though they are actually. Um, they have some modicum of intelligence, if if not, just if if only a little, you know. So yeah, that's the kind of thing we can expect from this. The freeing up the memory, as I said, freeing up the memory from uh, the sprites, which pl places a pretty big load, and also from the screens, got quite a lot of memory savings. So you know, this is done with eight frames, eight f eight sprite frames in total, which. Um, in AGD would be about I think 1k so um, 
this only uses 256 bytes so it's a lot more economical in fact um, it's half the memory used than the uh, than the original game so it's a nice saving and it adds a lot of a character okay so that's that for now I hope you liked seeing that I'll be back with more updates soon as always happy coding bye bye